Hey guys, welcome to another Opcast. I am privileged to have right beside me the new man of the moment, Mikey Wright. Mikey, thanks for joining the Opcast, matey. Yeah, no, thanks for having us. No worries at all. I know you don't do many interviews, so thanks each for doing this one. (laughs) Yeah, really appreciate it. (laughs) Let's just start with this week. You got the wild card to the Quickie Pro. I watched your heats, you surfed really well, and I was watching your free surf too. Absolutely ripping. Um, We're gonna have to go straight to the John John heat. You got the big score behind the rock, and um, how come you didn't go back there? <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I I, uh, I had a game plan before the heat to yep. just you know sit off that end bit. It's where all the waves have been the whole heat, and um, I wanted to have the inside at the start, so he, I knew he was going to go up there. So I, I started off up there on the inside because um, I think he wanted the inside too, but I kind of yep. didn't really let him have it. And um, yeah, he got the first one. No, I know that the second one was always the better one. And um, it was. Yeah, and it, it was. It turned out to be the better one. And I probably should have went up there after because I watched two smokers Did you? later on down I saw the road. Like, yeah, yeah, and I was like, maybe I should go up there. But there was too many good waves down off the end. Like mm. everyone was getting, you know, like high, high scores off the end there. All day. I, yeah, I couldn't, yeah. couldn't let him just sit there down there by himself. So, um, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but. Uh, I, and I, then at the end of the heat, I was in, oh, I saw you in the free surf after and you were. Uh, you were like, far out, I should have stayed closer, hey? And I was like, it's hard because he just escaped on yeah, you, didn't he? Yeah, well, that wave, I, they, the, all day there had been two wave sets. Yeah. First one was all right, second one behind was always the bomb. Um, and I went over the first one thinking there was going to be a second one, no second one. I, I should have, I probably should have just spent the first one because I did my back up. I had a higher score than his first wave. And uh, in, the, in the long run, I would have had to he would have had to be beat me by a point on like whatever the yeah, score. So exactly. if I got a, if we got similar scores, he would have had to, you know. Better it by point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, it was a good learning experience for sure. Yeah, it was definitely like I learned a lot of in this event, and um, yeah, I do stuff with uh, Troy Brooks, and every, every time I surf a heat, you know, there's always something to learn from it. It's definitely good having him there. Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah. I saw that, and I've never seen anything like it before. When you came in, he handed you a stamp, and yeah. I was like, what is that? <laughs> And you've got the stamp that you can stamp the things for the kids. I've never thought of that in all my years of uh, signing at shops and stuff. I'm like, why didn't I ever think of that? Yeah. That's super cool. Who thought of that? Um, well, I kind of, I had an idea and yep. so, so did um, Ryan Haywood. He, he, um, we we kind of all came up with an idea to make a stamp. And so, I, we, yeah, I got a, got a stamp made. Just like, I just drew it on a piece of paper on what I wanted it to be. Yep. And, um, yeah, got it, got it made up. And, yeah, it's, it's so easy. You go to a signing and you just... You're just sitting there and you can actually actually talk to them all. You, you can. Actually, you can actually socialise with yeah. your kid. You can ask how their day's going. Yeah, and sure. Where if you sign and you you got your head you're down busy. and then you and then you can ask how they're going. You know, like mm. and um, yeah. So I, I, some people say it's not uh, it's it's uh, it's not as meaningful, but I think it is because you can actually have a yeah. conversation with them. That's a good point because yeah. it's all about that, really, isn't it? With the kids and yeah. you've got such a big following with the kids. It's amazing. Um, you know, you ask their name and then you spell their name wrong or something and you yeah. blow it anyway. Yeah. You just give them the stamp. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I'm getting one made up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, you sat and um, watched the event, you know, with your sister and your brother. Yeah. Um, you know, and wow, your brother went all the way. Yeah. Can you believe that? I know. I, I, I didn't, like, at, uh, two months ago, I, I didn't see him doing the event. I, uh, wow. I thought... He, he, you know, he, he might do it, he, he, he might not. I think uh, Newcastle was a tester for him. And um, yeah, to come, to come away and he win it, I was like, wow, this wow. is like, it's just like, it was so sick. So, oh, no. so good to watch too. So good to watch, because when he won his first round heat, I was watching all you guys and like, it was emotional then. Yeah. And I was like, crazy, that's so cool. He won his first heat and then he just went yeah. bang, bang, bang. And I'm like, far out, he's going all the way. Yeah, he just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> it was all time. Um, what was it like growing up, um, you know, with a, a family full of pro surfers, you know, like? Um, it was, it was tough to get waves. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> um, no, it was, it was good, you know, I always had those guys to look up to. And, yeah. um, you know, we always had Timmy to look up to, like our oldest brother, and then Owen had uh, Timmy to look up to, and then Kirby had the boys to look up to, Tyler, like we all just followed in each other's footsteps, you know, and yeah. we all, we just wanted to do whatever, like what, the, you know our older siblings were doing and yeah. um yeah it was really good you know um 
when when Timmy first started to get his license, I don't even think he could like drive yet, and he would just be like, yeah, let's jump in the car, we'd drive to Crookie, or you know, like drive around the corner so we didn't have to run there. And um, yeah. yeah, no, it was good fun having a, having a, like you know big family of How surfers. How many? How many uh, kids? There's five of us. There's five of you. Like, yeah. And you're the youngest. Yeah, I'm the youngest. How old are you? Uh, twenty. Twenty. And then how old's um. Uh, Tim. Tim. Tim's 29. 29, and he's the eldest. Yeah, he's the eldest. So there's, okay. it's, it's almost 10, it's like nine and a half years in between yeah. me and Tim. Yeah. So it's okay. almost 10 year gap. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And yeah. everyone surfs? Yeah, everyone surfs, yeah. That's yeah. epic. Yeah. Um, besides uh, your family, yeah. um, outside who is, uh, would have been your biggest, biggest influence growing up surfing? Um, I think when I was uh, growing up, being on the, I always wanted to be on the Quicksilver team. Yep. You know, and and, uh, and watching Dane, um, he he was someone that I always liked to watch. And uh, Dane Reynolds. Yeah, Dane yeah. Reynolds. Yeah, and uh, just I don't know. He, he, when I was younger, he uh, he got he they Quicksilver got me a poster sign, like yeah. a big laminated poster, and I was just like, you know, <laughs> so stoked. Like took it to school as like a show and tell thing, and was just like, yeah, I I couldn't have been like a happier kid. And yeah, how old uh, were you then? Uh, I would have been around eight, eight? I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. And since then, you've been on trips with Dane? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Since yeah. then, yeah, been yeah. on trips. I uh, did, a, did a few times, like, went to a, France surfing with him, and just every time I go, like, go surfing, it's just like, I don't, like, I'm kind of, like, pinching myself, you yeah. know? Because <laughs> you're still so young, and you've mainly concentrated on just doing trips and making clips and stuff. Yeah. And now you're interested in qualifying, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Which is like fantastic a, for everyone. Yeah, you know, that's, uh, that follows you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I was like growing up, I was doing a lot of contests, and um, I got that's to first, yeah. yeah, and then got got to like sixteen out of the grom comps, and and I was just I kind of didn't really want to. Well, I, I started to do some contests, mm. but it was at the time where it was like pro junior. There wasn't many pro juniors. Mm. There was a lot of QSs, mm. and I didn't really want to go straight into doing the QSs yeah. because I wanted to go and learn how to like well get better at surfing and so when I did go and really have a crack at it I was at my like I was you know surfing a lot better than what I was and a lot stronger mm. and um, yeah so I took took the time off and uh, yeah now this year I, I, I went to have a crack at it last year yep but I uh, did my ankle yep, earlier on in right. the year yeah. so um, yeah how did, long did that put you out for I uh, for the first time it put me out for about five months mm -hmm. I got I did it in April and I got back in the water around at like late July, mm -hmm. August, I think, and um, and then did you do it doing an air? Yeah, did yeah. it doing an air over in WA, okay. and then I was in the water for two weeks, and then redid it. Wow! And then was out until Christmas. Wow! Jeez. So, so you're only just kind of fresh back yeah, in. Yeah, I'm only just kind of yeah well, fresh yeah. back in. This was um, I did the two contests down in like oh, I did a couple of QSs earlier on in the year, mm -hmm. um, just to just to warm us, see how the yeah. ankles going, and yeah. this this was the first contest to. Yeah. Uh, wear complete, no brace, no tape, no nothing. No nothing, how's it feel? Yeah, it feels really good. Unreal. Yeah, I saw that clip you just put out, that backhand inverted flip, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> do you land that much? Uh, <laughs> that, that was the first one I landed. I, oh, I, yeah, yeah I, first one I kind of pretty much tried since I've hurt myself. Right. But um, I've, I've tried to, like, maybe, like, maybe you know, like around 10. Yeah. And okay. I've yeah. Met, come close. Yep. Came close in Sri Lanka a couple of times. Okay. And then. Um, it looks yeah, so natural. It looks like I mean I know how hard it is, but it just looks so like it looks right. It's yeah. a crazy, crazy move. Yeah. It's one, like, once once you get your head around it, it's yeah. kind of like oh, it's, yeah, that right. was easy. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, <Wow, right. laughs> so not. Um, so um, so what's good about surfing right now? Like you know, in contests, I know that you've in you know like all the trips you've done, and then qualifying, the waves aren't going to be exactly the same. You know, yeah. like so. So I mean, one of these days they're going to put QSs in better waves. Yeah. But you know, like it's going to be a grind for sure. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. for now, like you know, I've been I've just been working on just small and surf like surfing small stuff like yeah. like it is today. You know, mm. on on shore, yeah. small, yeah. Um, messy conditions, and just getting getting better in that. So you know, I can go go to an event because most events. At QS is you're gonna have those days where it's smaller Some and days, yeah. yeah you're gonna have those days where you have to get through to the good days you know and um, yeah so I've just been working on that a lot and getting um, yeah get, getting better at uh, you know comp surfing because I've been you know free surfing for a while and kind of now I've got to get get into that comp mode yeah for sure I'm just getting sent some questions from people around the world 
-hmm. And uh, I'll start getting to them. And I don't agree with this question really. It says, has surfing become too clean cut, a little boring? No, Do you think I, it has? no I, don't, oh. I don't think so. Like, yeah. I think surfing, it's, it's how it's, um, you know, these days surfing is, um, you know, they have to, you have to train a lot. You have to actually, you know, um, there's everyone that's on tour now is working hard and, and um, I don't know, I think, I think it's just how sports evolve, you know, like it's, you look at all most sports, everyone is, they work all like hard all the time yeah. at it, you know, and um, yeah, I, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you there. Yeah. Um, this is a funny one. If you were the WSL commissioner, what would you do first? Um, <laughs> uh, may get some like crazy waves and only hold it on the best days there, yeah, I yeah. guess. Like, and QS is too QS Yeah, is in the way. QS, yeah, because that's the, yeah, so I'll, yeah, get some uh, good events going for the QS, that, that'd be pretty fun. Uh, that's good. And what do you want to be known for, or, or do you care what people think? Um, yeah, I, like, yeah, of course I care, you know, like, um, I, get, I kind of got um, a, in a, put in a category of free surfing, and it was, it's because I took that time off to, to go do that, but I uh, now even I, someone asked me in the water yesterday. He's like, "So, what are you? Are you going to compete, or are you just going to stay free surfing? Because uh, that's you know that's what everyone thinks. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's I kind of I was like, no, nah, I want to I want to get on tour. That's mm -hmm. where my grand goal is. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's um, yeah. It's, I think it's great. Yeah. I mean, I went through that period too. I mean, you can do both. I mean, it's hard to do both at one time. Yeah. Well, John John tried it last year and won a world title, but yeah. But um. Yeah, you've yeah. got to do both. Yeah. You know, through your life. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Give it a go. Yeah. Um, someone's asking, you have a raw and somewhat go for broke style. Who inspired that? Or did it just come by so just um, yourself? It's just, yeah, I kind of just, I, it's who I want to be, you know. I mm -hmm. want to, you know, I want I like surfing fast. I like surfing quick and, and putting it on rail and, you know, going big in the air and getting big barrels. And it's just, I like, I like going fast, and most of those things you all have to go fast to do, so. Yeah. <laughs> good twist, good answer. Yeah. Um, whoa, hang on a sec. Bear with me here. Yeah. It's a bit windy. Um, you, you've lived up and down the coast. Where mm -hmm. do you consider home these days? Uh, still Colborough. Colborough Beach. Yep. It's, that's um, home? Yeah, that's home. And you home. always go back there in between trips and events and stuff? Um, no, not no, so much, not so like too much anymore. You know. Um, yeah. Oh, but that is home. But, but that's home. Where, like that's where if someone asks where. Like, where you're from. Yeah, 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 where you're from. Yeah. That's what I'll say. But I, I've been living on the Goldie for a little bit okay. now. Yeah. Living up here. Um, just it's you know it's closer to everything for us. Closer to training. Closer yep. to JS. Um, more better like you know waves more the time. Like you can go surf D bar and it's still be small, but you know you're still getting waves. Where down south, if it's bad, it's pretty bad, you can't it's find a hard, it's kind yeah. of hard to find waves. So. Yeah. And JS is shaping your boards, how are they going? Yeah, really good. Oh, really um, good. Yeah, really, uh, really loving my boards at the moment. I'm, um, yeah, kind of, he makes me kind of frothing on surfing. Yeah. yeah. It's like to go and just ride a good board and even try testing things out mm. with boards, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's super fun. Epic. Um, what car do you get around at the moment? Um, what car are you getting around at the moment? Yeah. And what have you done to it? Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I have a, le uh, like a Land Cruiser uh -huh. 76 Series, um, 2016 model. It's, um, I've done a bit to it. I, uh, I got it, bought it last year, mm -hmm. started last year, and um, put, uh, put portal axles in it. So okay. it's uh, the axles, everything. You'll have to explain that to me. Yeah, yeah, so like <laughs> underneath, so everything. No, when you put a lift on a car, you can okay. lift the body up, yeah, but the yeah. axles still stay real low. Uh -huh. So portal axles raise the axles underneath six inches. Mm -hmm. So then everything, like, so you have heaps of clearance underneath. Oh, right. For, like, full driving and so stuff like that. Deep rivers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, like, just more like when you're yeah, out forward driving, nothing's going to hit you okay. here underneath. Yeah. Unreal. And, um, yeah, I put, like, 35-inch um, tyres and wow. kind of put, a, put an extra 2-inch lift in it and... Big spotties, bull bars, mm -hmm. and um, okay. at the moment, um, BF Goodrich tyres, mm -hmm. uh, they've they're giving us tyres at I the moment, it. so yeah, yeah I'm pretty stoked on that, yeah, and cool. um, yeah, it helps out a lot, because going forward, you know, like, you, know you, yeah. you get rid of those, you use the tyres up a bit, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I've got twin, t uh, two twin, three inch um, bow desert exhaust, mm -hmm. it makes it pretty throaty, 
Unreal. Sounds pretty good. Oh, it sounds good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so you get off road in it a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, t I try to, yeah. Yeah. Especially good for flash floods, and we've been having a lot of that lately. Yeah, it's been raining been the pulling, <laughs> pulling all kinds of cars out. Yeah. Um, what bands have you been listening to or watching, and do you play anything yourself? Um, I don't. Um, I don't really play anything myself. Mm -hmm. I used to when I was little. I used mm -hmm. to play guitar. Uh -huh. Just as a me and Tyler used to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but since then, I like I kind, kind of put it. Like? Um, kind of anything. I'm not really uh, um, good with all music words and stuff like yeah. that. Or, or I'd kind of just what you are like, listening yeah, to. Yeah, it's is just it like, like um, is, do you like thrash music or mellow music or both? I kind of like both. Like. Yeah. This is a good example. Before I heat, I listen to Simon Says and Toxicity, okay. System of the Down. Wow. So, uh -huh. so there's two totally yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, they're they're kind of the ones I get warm. Kind of when I'm going driving down to a heat or anything like that. That's what I listen to. So. Unreal. And um, you like the all-time Aussie bloke. Like what? What's what? What do you love about Australia? Ah, uh, just Australia. It's just like, Australia. It's great. You know, you've got you know beautiful beaches. Warm weather, you know, you can find good waves, hot chicks, there's heaps of four winds you go do, mm. and um, heaps of camping, hunting, fishing, mm. all sorts. All sorts. Yeah. And um, I met your dog the other day at the contest, he came and introduced bacon to me. Yeah, yeah. He's so cute. Is, is that because his favourite food's bacon? Uh, yeah, when he was a pup, yeah. my, uh, my sister was like, was like doing some bacon and he was just like frothing <laughs> and so should we kind of just called him bacon. <laughs> <laughs> what a classic. <laughs> Yeah. Um, beer of choice? Uh, VB. VB? Yeah. I'm a VB man too. Yeah. And have uh, you tried brewing your own beer? Everyone else is doing it. Yeah, no, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't tried it. No, I, I don't think I'll be able to know what to put in it, <laughs> how to make it. <laughs> um, this is probably a hard question, but you can answer it or not. What's two things people don't know about you? You probably um, said about five things in this interview. Yeah, that probably don't know about you. they probably didn't know that I like going four driving. Yeah, oh, actually, I put a, put a little bit up on my social now, uh -huh. like on Instagram and stuff. But uh, go fishing. Um, yeah, yeah, cool. So who are the oh, next? Actually, yeah, uh, dr drifting, on. drifting cars. Drifting cars, I, uh, no yeah, way, really. Yeah, 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 driving, driving cars. Where do you I, get um, to do that? I haven't, I, I bought a little Sylvia, like okay. a instant Sylvia. And, and I can do it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just waiting to get it all fixed up and then take it on the track. Are you going to do it on the track or not on the open road? Yeah, no. Nah, not, not on, on the regular not, road? Yeah, no, nah, not on the I was going to say road, everyone nah. look out. <laughs> yeah, no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I wouldn't You're be doing that. you take it on the track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, 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 for now, I can't, I pro I'm not allowed to drive it because I'm still on my uh, P's. Oh, okay. So um, I've got to put on a trailer. Yeah, I even see. To, and then take it out there, take it to the truck. So there's no even driving on the road yet. So. Good. Very, <laughs> very legal. That's yeah, good, yeah. Mikey. <laughs> um, who are the next Groms psyche that, that are psyching you up right now? You probably know more Groms than me that are ripping. Um, yeah, I've been seeing a lot. Um, I know uh, he rides for Quickie as well, Carl Walsh. He's been okay. really um, with his airs. Yep. He's like some of the airs he's been doing and the spins. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's kind of taken like he, he takes from? my eye. Just uh, he's from WA, I think. WA. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, little Lenny, Leno, um, Lennox, yeah, Lennox Chell, yeah, 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 from, yeah, yeah. Yep. he, um, yeah, he's, he's ripping, he's, little yeah. goofy footer, yeah. Samsung, yeah. Yeah, 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 he's, um, he's yeah. good, and little um, Marlon Harrison, he, yeah, he's, he's upstairs, yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's upstairs, upstairs yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, I've seen, always little seen Marzi. him out, always yeah, seen him out, snapper classic, ripping, yeah. and you know, really getting into it, and uh, that the Saber Norris, okay. She yeah. really, she's yeah. she's surfing good for uh, you know for for her age and uh, to for her to be doing those airs. I think she's going to be the f first kind of girl to be to mm. be breaking into the doing airs like men. I oh, know, like because she she doesn't have the fear of you know launching and, and not know where she's going into yep. the flats. Yep. She kind of wow, just spins yeah. with it. I think I think she might be the first. Oh, if Tyler doesn't hurry up and do them, but <laughs> <laughs> Tyler but, can kind of. Hey. Yeah, no, nah, I've seen her. I've seen her do like get close to yeah. some big like full rotation ones. Wow, yeah. And yeah, the other, I went down home after just before this event and mm -hmm. was surfing for for a few days with her and 
got her out in the Northeast wind and mm. it was like she was going to the air and she yeah. got close on a couple and I was like, damn, like, yeah. <laughs> but nah, it's good. It's good to see the girls, you know, yeah. going, like always progressing. Like, they what? Yeah, it's, it it's their, so their tour far. is so exciting to watch now. You, yeah. you watch the heats and you're like, oh yes, they're like, you know, like, and back in the day when the chicks came on, like the Connors area just cleared. Yeah. And now it doesn't. Like I love watching the chicks. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's good to watch, and they're they're progressing so much, and they're actually you know they're going hard for it. They're putting it on rail there, and they're yeah doing progressive, they're doing yeah. progressive stuff. Yeah, they really are. And you're off to Western Australia tomorrow. Yep, going yep going to WA. And, and you're competing or? Uh, no, not competing. Yeah. Um, just um, just going over there again. With I, the fam. It, uh, to watch just, the fam and preserve. Yeah, yeah, and just to just to go and surf, doing a few things for Quickie over there, yeah. and. Okay. It's the same place I did my ankle last year, but going there strong and, mm. and not coming away without an injury. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's, it should be fun. It, it looks like there's a pretty good swell on the mm -hmm. way. And um, yeah, I, I love it over there. No, but yeah, I think this so time good. I'm going to stick to doing a lot more big hacks big instead, hacks. Of, uh, <laughs> instead of those airs. But <laughs> oh, well, good luck with it, Mikey. Anything, um, you know, good luck on the QS this year. I yeah. really want you to qualify. Yeah, He's thanks. Stoked, and so does a lot of people out there. Yeah. And good luck with your free surfing and, and your future in general. And thanks yeah. for coming on the Upcast, Mike. Hey, thanks, Eve. Oh. Sweet. Yo!